Hello, you are watching a special broadcast of IPR department on news for hearing impaired. I'm Manisha and with me today is sign interpreter Vishal Viswakarma. In this special bulletin, we present top stories of the week. Intensified diarrhea control fortnight was formally launched by ADC Namchi Sri Satyan Pradhan at Namchi District Hospital on 15th of June. The importance of organizing such event was to make people aware about the fatal death caused by diarrhea, especially children below the age of 5 years and various measures and precautions to be taken during this disease. Sri Pradhan, during his address, expressed his gratitude towards the staff members of ASAs and Aganwaris and emphasized them to go to the ground level so as to fight against these dreadful disease. He further requested the education department to make it mandatory in all the schools to adopt the proper steps of hand washing techniques. Furthermore, CMO Namchi District Hospital highlighted about the basic measures to eradicate diarrhea death rates and elaborated on the faulty technique, improper food habits, open defecation and various other causes which lead to diarrhea. The event also witnessed a hand washing demonstration by Srimati Krishna Rai, ASA worker and a demonstration of ORS Preparation by Srimati Lalita Chetri Aganwadi Worker. District Administration of Gelsing District recently organized hands on training for schools going students on how to make eco bricks. Among all the types of plastic, the multi layered plastics, often packaging food stuffs like chips, YY, kurkure, etc., are single use and therefore non recyclable. Realizing such problem, the district collector Gelsing Srimati Yesedi Yongda resolved to find a more permanent solution to the discarding of this waste. In collaboration with Building Dreams Foundation and NGO from Dehradun workshops were held from 5th of June till 10th of June for the 126 schools across the district. Two trained professionals from the NGO visited the schools and trained students on how to make eco breaks. Several students from a majority of the schools were able to attend these workshops and the ones left out due to connectivity issues owing to monsoons will be covered in the second phase. The students who were trained by the NGO professionals have become master trainers themselves. Additionally, the training also focused on other aspects of child welfare. Students were taught about their rights and moral obligations and were encouraged to form clubs that act as safe spaces for them. A three days training program on scientific beekeeping for sustainable livelihood for Sankuradu Khandu Gram Panchayat Unit under Dentam Block Gazing District was organized by State Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Karfiktar, which ended on 11th June. The training program inaugurated on 9th June under the course team of SIRD was attended by more than 40 participants. The training program was organized as an endeavor of SIRD and PR to fulfill its responsibility of supporting the sustainable livelihood of rural people through scientific beekeeping. The participants were also trained and informed about the importance of bees in climate change mitigation and adoption, importance of pollination and contribution of bees in ecological balance in the global world. Gantok Municipal Corporation in association with the State Pollution Control Board Sikkim and Urban Development Department organized a workshop come awareness program on the ban on single use of plastic at Thakurbari complex MG Mark Gantok yesterday. It is to be noted that India will implement a nationwide ban on all single use plastic. 
notifying the Plastic Waste Management Amendment Rules 2021, the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has prohibited the manufacture, import, stocking, distribution, sale and use of earbuds with plastic sticks, plastic flags, plastic sticks for balloons, candy sticks, ice cream sticks, thermocol for decorations, plates, cups, glasses, cutlery such as forks, spoons, knives, straws, trees, wrapping or packaging films around sweet boxes, invitation cards, cigarette packets, plastic or PVC banners, less than 100 micron and stirrers. In short, it encompasses SUP items with low utility and high littering potentials. The main objective of the program was to inform all not to use plastic but instead use other biodegradable substitutes as environment-friendly alternatives. A review meeting for monsoon preparedness was held yesterday at Tasseling Secretariat under the chairmanship of Relief Commissioner come Secretary Land Revenue and Disaster Management Department Sri Anil Raj Rai. The review meeting was conducted with an objective to strengthen coordination between state line departments, central agencies, NGOs with Sikkim State Disaster Management Authority and related stakeholders. The stakeholders assured of their readiness to combat any emergencies and also shared suggestions with the department. The Indian Meteorological Department shared that this year there has been an early onset of the monsoon rains and almost 20% of the rainfall has already been received. This much for today. We'll be back with the more updates. Keep watching E-News of IPR Department. Thank you.